Hey, it's Beverly with the Intuitive Interior. Uh, I wanted to talk to you today a little bit about uh, how to use the feng shui philosophy to pivot in your business or in your job. Uh, the number one thing is, first of all, to be clear about what is it that you want to pivot to. I mean, so kind of have an idea about what are you moving towards versus what are you moving away from. Obviously, if you don't have a job, the first thing you want to do is move towards another job instead of being, you know, lamenting the loss of whatever you were doing before. Uh, that can be a little easier said than done because we can all get wrapped up in that um, monkey mind of what if and what happened and, you know, was it my fault? You know, what have I, you know, whatever. Uh, it makes sense because August is the wood monkey month. This, uh, and so that energy of direction as well as a little bit of that ch 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 chitter chatter of the monkey mind kind of goes together. So here's how we focus on that. First of all, we're gonna be activating two main sectors. We're gonna be activating the helpful people and travel sector as well as the fame and reputation sector. So helpful people and travel will it's in the northwest. It, it can, uh, corresponds with the metal element, and it's all about helping the people. Well, help you. <laughs> you know, whether it's you. Know, you might be one of those helpful people. You might be one of you know, the person that that's getting help. Either way, it's a good thing. The other thing that we're other place that we're going to be activating is the fame and reputation sector. This again is in the south, and this resonates with the fire element. Uh, think about fame and reputation as cosmic marketing. It is the networking. It is the, you know, what are people saying about you when you're not around? That's why we have to do both of these at the same time because you want the right people saying the right things at the right time to help you make that pivot. So, two things, okay, north, west, south. What if you don't have a compass? Well, yes, you have one on your phone. It's not the most reliable thing in the world, but if that's all you got, it'll have to do. But here's another really quick little trip tip. Every morning, guess where the sun rises? In the east. Every evening, where does the sun set? In the west. So once you figure those out, then you can kind of get a rough idea about where north and south is. So north west and south. I'm gesturing wildly because I, <laughs> that's where I'm sitting with my back to the east and I am facing west right now. So hence the, you know, hand flipping over here. Next, the note that I want you to do. This is the secret part. Well, not so secret after this video, but you need to write out what your job, what kind of activities uh, it, it, what kind of an impact do you want to make? Are you just needing something to tide you over to the next right step? Or is it, you know, I need something now. I need something that makes me X amount of money or more now because I'm not going to eat tomorrow if I don't. Uh, or is this going to be something that is a little bit grander plan, a little longer range thinking? The... The, the process is the same, whether it is an immediate need or if it is, let's, let me, you know, look for the, you know, the, the next, you know, three steps ahead. Begin the process by first getting grounded and centered. Really feel that energy plant into the earth. Because what you, we have, in order to really truly make any of this stuff work, you need to be able to let go of any attachment to um, what used to be. Because, let's face it, that's in the past. That, that part of the stream has already gone by. We are not recapturing that. Um, for good or for ill, that's gone. But wow, we have no idea what amazing things are in store for us in the future. So let's go ahead and keep and get fully grounded and be grateful to what happened in the past and then get grounded for uh, now, in the now, so that we can be ready to receive whatever shows up in the future. Next, think about 
who you would want to work with. What kind of a team do you want to be a part of? Do you want to be a part of a team? Do you want, do you want to be working by yourself? Or have you had enough of this whole alone time? Then, what tasks do you like to do? Are you more of a, hey, I'm going to get on the phone and start talking to people? Um, are you going to be more of the, just leave me alone, I'm behind my keyboard, I've got a lot of stuff I need to write? Are you kind of a combination? What kind of manager, managerial style do you prefer? Do you like to be a manager of people? What kind of people do you want to manage? What tasks are you going, do you enjoy? I mean, kind of go through all of these details down to the level of detail of, let's say you go back and we're all back in an office now. Do you want to be back in the office? Do you want to stay working from home? Do you, you know, what kind of a commute are you willing to tolerate? Are you willing to relocate should said fabulous job uh, come for you, but it's in a different city? Be clear with yourself about a lot of those parameters. And then at the very end, put down this, this magical phrase, this, the equivalent, or something better. Because a lot of times we don't really even know what other options are out there if we don't know that those possibilities exist. Because let me tell you, growing up on a pig farm in the middle of Kansas, being a feng shui consultant, was not even remotely in my you know list of dream jobs but here I am so um, so again that that note that you just wrote do it twice remember activating two sec two sectors so the next sector uh, so the so the first back bouncing back and forth here the first letter I want you to either put it in a, like a metallic box, either a silver box, um, you know, it can be gold, anything metallic. If you don't have that around, I guarantee that you probably have some aluminum foil laying around. You can just tear off a square of that foil and create the best version of an aluminum foil envelope that you can find. And so just tuck that note, the first one, into this aluminum foil envelope and you put this in the northeast sector of your home or of your room of, or the office that you're working in, just somewhere in the north, uh, excuse me, I said northeast, I meant to say northwest, northwest, the northwest sector of your home because the metal element is um, what is the dominant element in the northwest, the helpful people in travel. The second letter. Put this one in, preferably, a red envelope. You can just take a regular white envelope and get red crayon and scribble on there and just color it if that's what you have on hand. But you put that in the, in the um, red envelope in the south part of your house. So now you have activated the two key spots to either bringing you a new job or getting you that promotion. So both of these actually are both happening right now. They really are. You just have to make sure that your energy is open to that. Be as abundant and ready to receive as possible. And again, do not forget that magical last line. This, the equivalent or something better. Okay, that is my tip for how to help with the job pivot with feng shui. It's nice to have you aboard. If you've liked this video, please hit like and share. Um, and actually comment below if this works for you, when it works for you, because it really does. All right, have a good rest of your day. Enjoy your month of August. Bye.